The Iron Oath is a turn-based tactics-like RPG game. Very similar to, like, kind of draws a little bit from, like, your typical tactics games like Final Fantasy Tactics or Fel Seal or XCOM or any of the other tactics games. Um, and also dry, dry, uh, really heavily focusing on the lore aspect, storytelling aspect. I feel like I'm playing a dungeon, a D&D &D game, right? Where it's like, there's lots and lots of story. And I really, really actually, the, the writing is pretty good. Like, I feel like, uh, I, like this story is very, like, uh, not necessarily deep, but just very well kind of uh, um, uh, built and very expanded. The world is very, uh, very well described. Um, it's just, just, just overall, like, you know, definitely above par writing. And it really carries the title. Um, now, not necessarily carries as in, like, the rest is lackluster. Some of the elements here might be a little very frustrating for some folks. It's a very hard game. Um, so when you get into it, it's very long and, and, and trying, and you're working, and you're, and you're and you're and you're trying to survive, and it's just just punishing. Um, I would say you know it, it's kind of akin to like a Darkest Dungeon, where you know you feel like it's just like oh god, like you're just fighting misery on top of just trying to um, uh, just trying to make your way out of a uh, out of a dungeon, right? It's just a miserable experience. <laughs> but in a positive way, you know, Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> so this is kind of like that, uh, where you you feel like you are just like, for example, I just got out of, a, a I think, one of my first missions or something. Um, and it took, uh, and I, I made it out with one person, one person alive. And I barely made it out, barely made it out. And so I had to go to, when we go enter city, I had to go and hire a bunch of new people. It actually says three out of eight. I wonder if it actually saved. Let me see, go to the inn. We'll go to recruit. Let me see. Oh, there's a bunch of people here. Hmm. Let me check my roster. Do I have a roster here? Let me see. Infirmary. Uh, we go over here. Uh, one, two, and three. Oh, okay, so these three. Okay, uh, these other two made it, actually. Okay, good. So sort available three out of three. Let's go ahead. Does that have an X? Like a... Is this game support? No. Controller? No way. I didn't even check that. I just saw I just saw an X on the uh, uh, in the marketplace or something. Where did I see it? Yeah, X sort. Oh, there must be. Is that literally like the X button on the keyboard? No, that doesn't do anything. B select B cl A close. Okay, well the control's not doing anything. Um, it could be because it's not booted up. It wasn't there at, at boot. But uh, I've actually been playing this game <laughs> on my tablet <laughs> because you can play the entire game on the mouse. So this is this is actually probably one of my first times playing the game on PC. So here you go. Here's some of the story here. It's part of the mission that we did. So duck, oh, okay. Well, let me see. Ducking your head through the guard doorway, you step forward to find the officer leaning over a table. His eyes carefully scanning a map in front of him, he takes notice of your arrival, raising his hand to signify that he'll be with you in a moment. He turns to a nearby soldier, issuing some orders you can't quite overhear, and presses some papers into his hands. The soldier nods and salutes in return and makes to leave, striding past you on the way out. The officer regards you with a welcoming gesture. So you see, like, this is great. This is really great. Like, kind of just, just, just setting the scene. Um, um, for what you guys are going to discuss and and if you're somebody who doesn't necessarily want to read all this You could just read the blue or the white not uh, the bolded white areas in the blue uh, And typically that's going to tell you like give you the the, the gist All Right, so I believe that prize receipt, but first the matter of your payment. Yep So they make it out of here alive out of there alive uh, I believe that was the price. Yes, there we go. Very good And then we go through I already did this part so that basically is offering me more work essentially is what's happening here so keep going I love that it shows this the stupid controller right here uh, which again I did not know because I've been playing my damn tablet um, one of my complaints was actually that you couldn't play the controller because I assumed that you could not I literally assumed that you could not I was like there's no way this game can be like not necessarily this good but be of this caliber um, and have controller support too I feel like there's too much that's too much to, to ask of an early access title um, but no, man, I guess, I guess there is, <laughs> I guess there is, uh, also a weird little issue though. I'm not able to click on things. Let's see. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm, you know, doing it wrong. I think it's cause it's trying to switch between controller or not and, uh, and, uh, and, and keyboard mouse. So two are now points available. Let's go to, this is perfect. Actually, I've already done this, but I guess it didn't save. Um, so this is your company upgrades. Uh, your company is essentially, you know, your, your clan or whatever, and you can, you see Expeditions General, uh, I have two points that I could spend, they're permanent, and in my case, I'm going to put them in horse training because it takes less time to get from uh, point to point, which means less opportunity or less wasted time um, uh, that could be better spent doing some proper exploring or some dungeoneering or whatever. <laughs> is engineering a word? I think so. 
pardon me, by the way. Apply those upgrades. I, say I got some armor and such. Uh, and I don't want to discard anything. Um, I see offhand armor, resources, etc. We're going to go ahead and close. And let's see, marketplace. Um, let's see, we could buy some stuff. I'm not going to do all the buying and selling right now. God, you know what's funny? I had it all set up ready to go to the next mission, and then and then it didn't save, so that was my fault. Let's go to the inn. This is actually still good, though, because you guys can see, you need to see this process. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and book a couple more people here. Let me see. This is a guardian, a pugilist. That's a new thing for me. Huntress and another pugilist. So we click on him. We can, I can hire him straight up. Uh, I say, look, we need to request some work. What do you think about these terms? So 95 for a year or 71 per year for three years with a 40... A uh, 40 gold signing bonus. So every every character you can hire has this has as th these terms, right? You could choose one or the other. Not necessarily the price, but just the uh, the terms. Um, and so in this case, I was going 95 for a year because typically they make it past the first year, anyways. Um, I'm having some real problems here. I'm not able to click on anything. Early access, boy. How about we do this? All right, here we go. Now we're back. Let's go ahead and pick up some people here. <laughs> so uh, I think what happened was because I turned the controller on mid-game, it kind of confused it for some uh, for some time. Was this a Valkyrie? Oh sure, I'll take another Valkyrie. And then uh, the Pyrolancer, a Pugilist. Let's take a Pugilist, 95 for one year. We'll take you, and then we'll leave everybody else there. Uh, so my party have five people. We can only take four into a match. So we're gonna go ahead and click through all this. It's much faster when it actually works. Um, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely the um, Void Breach. Oh, whoops. Okay, yep, 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 yep. yep. Two, one. Next, 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 next. Good, close. Uh, let's go ahead and actually go back to our company upgrades here. <clears throat> Let me see. Probably in one of these. Let's see. Uh, company upgrades coming soon. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not it. Overview and history. Um, again, coming soon. Let me see. Yeah, here we go. Horse training. Boom, boom. Put those in there. Uh, just to talk about some of the other upgrades available, though. You get satchel size, so you can carry more mission, things into missions, provisions, uh, discounts, so discount, you know what that is. Uh, and these are different types of essences that you can burn when you camp that will give uh, some of your party a boost on top of the healing uh, powers that camping can provide. So this is another, you know, um, place you could just dump some points into uh, as you as you progress. So here's this is your reputation with the different houses, the cities, and the factions. It's deep, man. It's RPG. This is deep. This guy they got a lot <laughs> going on here. Um, click on our character here if you want. Go to gear. We can see if there's anything uh, better. See the epic medium twelve uh, versus what zero seven boiled leather. Uh, let's go change character. She's got seven. Uh, he's got nothing, actually, so perfect. We'll go cloth vest or boy, see, minus one move speed, plus one move speed. There we go. And she's a huntress. Oh, nice. Yeah, good range on that one. I like it. Uh, another Valkyrie with no armor, so we'll throw something on it. Uh, and then let me see. Oddgar uh, can take cloth wraps, I guess. Let me see. Default weapon is your hands. Is that for reals? Okay, no. Common fist weapon. Oh, okay. Weapon offhand. Wait, what are you? Pugilist. Oh, he's just a fighter. Oh, snap. Okay. Um, I didn't know that was, that's what that meant. I, I, I'll think of like an actual pugil stick, like a pugilist would have. Not a... I guess not. Okay, cool. <laughs> now, now, just like, just like uh, uh, Darkest Dungeon, you know, you could spend all this time you know, uh, hooking all these characters up with the, your skill, uh, skill points and everything, uh, and then they die. And I guess like, that's pretty much it. Uh, here we go. So this this is your your upgrades for each individual skill that you have, and you unlock more as you as you level up. Uh, you can unlock um, you know basically just better uh, better stats or better um, uh, per performative things. So like more dash, next charge, potency, cleave. I hit more more than one. Uh, this one actually I think is let's see dash empty strike strike enemy twice. Oh actually it does an adjacent too. Ooh that's actually really nice. Um, but there are a lot of things that are locked uh, early access builds and uh, so first off yeah there are some traits that are locked behind an early access build um, there are in your stats uh, over here or, mm -hmm, where's the actual stat let me see by affinity uh, no contract traits um, I don't know where the actual stat screen is but just know, no. <laughs> the attributes here, when when you put points into your stats, um, there's a maximum of 20. Not here. This is not it. Of course, he's going way over that. Uh, oh, you can change the name of your characters too, huh? Oh, look at that. Oh, you can change all this stuff. Whoa. Man, I know about this. This is great because you know what? Most of the characters you get don't look anything like their actual uh, their actual pixel art. So uh, we can make we can make the pixel art look like. Like the like, let me see. Let me see. Uh, male. Let's see. No, let's see. Oh yeah, female. That's, that's really close, actually. Uh, let me see. Hair. Mm, 
Oh, okay, definitely gotta be blonde. Okay, not like that, though. Let me see. Oh, actually, you know what? That's not too bad. It is easier to know, like, who's who when the portrait matches the actual look of the character. I had this... Th this is the same problem I had with, uh, with, uh, Fel Seal. As much as I consider that game to be perfect, um, Fel Seal still had a, uh, an issue where the, the character portraits were, like, just hand-drawn, uh, almost, like, submitted by fans kind of thing, like, because a lot of them were different styles completely. Um, and they just didn't match the character themselves on, on the screen, so I didn't like that. That was, like, a thing I didn't really like. But, uh, but otherwise, it's a perfect game. I could buy some stuff, I could sell some stuff. Let me see, pile of wood, average selling prices, sell it. Uh, some teeth, the sell it. I don't know anything about crafting yet, so I'm just gonna sell everything. Uh, some scrap, I'm gonna sell that for sure. Medicine, not gonna sell that. Traveler's staff, ooh. Somebody has a weapon here we could throw on. Let me see. Um, let's go back to our people here. Who's gonna use a staff? Probably guardian novice, pugilist novice, hunter's novice, pyrolancer, journeyman. Pyrolancer maybe? No. Gear, weapon. Okay, nothing, yeah. So yeah, no, 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 no. Need to put it back. <laughs> I guess nobody can use that. Yeah, because it's not, in, it's not in any of these slots here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that yeah, we have everybody hooked up with whatever gear we could possibly give them, and the rest of the gear that we have is just stuff that we can just hold on to for now. So let's go ahead and leave. Uh, close the void breach. Uh, oh, the void breach has been reported in the area. If not taken care of, the country. Oh, 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 so there is actually. Let me see. Where do we encounter? Where do we go to this encounter? Station of the Nurse was contracted. And he already sent a party to deal with the matter with the universe, so we can expect to uh, encounter in many void spawn, especially if we're near the breach. Date acquired. Let me see where it's not on the map. Oh, does not work. I'm guessing that's because. Let me try this here. Oh, I don't think that, that function works yet. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, void breach. I have 240 days to complete this. Um, let me see. Where can I go to actually have this encounter? Just report in the area if not taken care of. Yeah, wow. How do I actually how do I actually do this? Uh, let me see. Marketplace infirmary. I mean, this is just going to the infirmary. Yeah, there. Marketplace. Again, we've already done the inn. Uh, rest, round, buy a round of recruits. And then friendly, friendly, friendly. Yeah, hmm. Let's go and leave. Maybe something on the map here. We're gonna leave city. Like, what if I just leave? Oh, wait, maybe it's over here. Oh, it's over here. I thought the voice spawn there. Okay, now we're good. Duh, look, see the little thing here. The little sword, the little sword there. Uh, close the void breach. So let's go ahead and take some people. We're going to take you, and you, and you, and we'll leave our new friend. And then here we go. Okay, so we have a nice little assortment here. So provisions. This is this is the extra slots you can unlock, like I showed you in the company, the company tabs. Uh, we will take some health potions. How many can I take? Oh, I have lots. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's going to cost us money. Okay, never mind. It's not free. It's not free. Uh, negative conditions. Let's go and get rid of the, one of these. Put negative conditions on. And that stabilizes injuries. Okay, good. So, venture forth. Let's do it. Let's do it! So, the game is a- this game is a long- has a long, long, long playthrough cycle, right? Like, you're- you're gonna be spending a lot of time reading, you'll be spending a lot of time just exploring, um, and a lot of times doing the matches. So, like, your gameplay loop probably could take, like, an hour, maybe even longer. For me, it did. Right, um, so here we are. We have one camp ready to go for when we get deeper into the map and we need to get rest or something. Uh, we can right click on this tile and give us an ability to, to scout ahead, uh, giving it telling us if there's anything uh, here. But uh, it didn't actually clear it up, so I'm wondering if uh, if if that requires a uh, a deeper um, search or maybe it is actually. Oh, never mind. It was correct, but it costs time though. And this is the part that, yeah, I've not yet explained. Uh, bottom right corner, you can see I have a 10 out of 20. So this is, this is, and it even says right here, um, the, the longer you play, or the longer, the more days that you spend, exp either it's exploring or if it's, you know, a cost, like this is two. I've, uh, I've, so you saw for a moment overcome by a strong feeling when somebody's watching you. I, f I feel like we're not alone here. Check the area. So we check the area here. Wind Flit did not like that. It's like, no, I don't want to chill, I guess, or whatever. Um, <laughs> Uh, and let's see, your party fans out with eyes peeled and weapons ready. Okay, press on. So nothing happens, but we lose a little bit of time. Um, and I guess that rash went away or whatever that was that, uh, Wind Flood had. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Some kind of rash. Um, gonna keep on hopping around through here. Wow, there's a lot of no encounters here. Uh, I think I'm playing on, by the way, on the second difficulty, which is, um, like the normal difficulty. The harder difficulty kick my ass, like, immediately. You start off with less money, you can have fewer recruits, fewer provisions. It just ended up bad. Uh, so here we go. We've, we've completed our first day cycle, uh, or day count cycle, whatever, 20 days. And it says, uh, even the bravest soldier is not immune to traumatic events. It will take a while to forget this one. Increase post-mission fatigue. 
there's a whole fatigue system not necessarily attached to uh, whether a player has been downed or anything, uh, although that can contribute to it. Um, the uh, but it but it is a, it is uh, attached to the um, uh, the morale, and the your morale is impacted by you know if you've been if you've been downed or if you've taken damage or a crit or something like that. So there's a number of things that affect your morale. Uh, disarm the trap uh, with some tools we can help. Okay, I have a tool. Keep moving. Just be mindful where you step. Ignore the trap. Just go ahead and ignore the trap. Been fled like that. You continue on. Somehow managed avoiding mishaps. Hey, hey, all right. Can I go back through there again? I guess. Ah, combat. All right, here we go. Here we go. So those that attribute that you saw, that debuff that you saw that popped up there after I hit that uh, that timer. <clears throat> excuse me. After I hit that timer, that was a. Uh, that was one of like many different types of debuffs that you could get. One of the debuffs that I got, uh, which was probably the most hilarious, uh, is that as it's basically as your adventurers uh, uh, ventured forth uh, over time, they become less organized. And so what happens is you have a placement time. Like right now, I could actually go and place some of my characters around. So move this guy over here. Um, and there, and you go over here, right? And then everybody else is basically fine. Um, and you lose the ability to place your 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 characters at the beginning, and that's just that's just a debuff, one of the debuffs you could get. So it actually changes the way that your characters approach even the the intro to combat, not necessarily combat itself. So here we go. The first attack comes from you. Uh, lo lots of range, which is great. We can see how much damage we're going to do. This is typical of these types of games. You can see what you're going to do before you commit. Uh, let's just go and take a shot. We'll keep our range. Let's, let's take some shots here. Let me get close with somebody. I'm corrupting touch. Okay, ouch. So this circle on the bottom here, um, if you're standing in it, you cannot cast. You can see our corruption. It inflicts 10 morale damage. Uh, oh, last for three rounds. Oh, wait, there's this one here. Dead zone. There it is. You cannot cast from that hex, so we're not going to move there. Uh, I cannot move out of this range, too, because it's opportunity. Uh, this is a zone of control that is uh, this surrounding this character, this little dog thing here. Uh, this zone of control here, once you're in it, if you leave it, you will take a hit. If you move past somebody like this, you'll take a hit right there. You can see it there. So I'll take two hits if I move over here if I wanted to. Uh, like any other turn-based strategy game, uh, you can see that there's like a green area and then there's a gray area. You guys know how this works. If you go beyond a certain point, you use up your action points. Like there's like there's a movement point, then there's action points basically, right? Um, and so by committing to go past the point here, you're basically dashing, uh, and that's going to give you. Um, uh, and that's going to remove your ability to take an actual, like, an, a combat point and spend that. So I can't move from here, so I'm going to go ahead and see what kind of abilities I have. Aegis is the tall enemies. Uh, adjacent enemies for one round decrease their defense by 40. Uh, sweeping Spear. Sweeping Spear and Arc. Damaging two adjacent cells, two connected cells. There is friendly fire, so you have to be careful with this. Um, man, I don't want to move out of this range. I don't want to... Ah, damn, I don't want to have to, like, come combat this thing right away. I can move to a different position here. Check this out. Stay within the circle. There. Now I can, uh... Let's go ahead and let him. Oh my god. <laughs> Son of a. Uh, whoa, okay. Nice little AoE attack there. This thing is a huge pain in the ass. As long as it stays back here, I'm, I'm good. But right now, it's, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Um, let me see. How do I approach this? Just keep beating this guy up. So check this out. So because I have a character that's adjacent here, right? This, uh, this boyer is down here. <laughs> if I attack from here, I cannot miss because I'm flanking. It's a flanking rule or feature or whatever mechanic, combat mechanic. Um, what does this thing do? Ten morale damage. The guy get for the, on their turn. Lasts for three rounds. I can move, but then I will lose that flanking ability here. Yeah, let's do is a slap. Him. Let's give him a good slap. Ninety-five. And then for you, we come over here. We can finish this guy off. What do we got here? Oh, it's a trap. Now let's go over here. And slap this guy. Done. One hundred twenty-eight. Yeah. All right, round two. The dog. Grabbing touch. Uh, oh, here we go. If I hit, oh, hmm. A little double shot on this one. Good. I wonder if I can finish this guy off in this one here. Ooh, taking a lot of damage. Let's taunt. Should we taunt? No. Uh, wait. Well, that's taunt, right? Let me see. Oh, Aegis. Uh, taunt all Aegis enemies around. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Keep this guy off. Here comes this ass. 49. Does he put down the thing? No, it does not. Okay. We'll go around here. This is also really cool. You can actually control. So if I go here, you see that I walk past this guy and I'm going to take a hit, right? But I think it's shift. If I shift, yeah, you can see the icon changes. I can actually path my way through here. There we go. 
that way I get a better positioning and I can take this guy out. Now it's not gonna be a takeout, unfortunately, but um, less. Yeah, you know, it's okay. Let me see. Can you? No, nope, not much you could do here. Blazing Lance. Oh, actually, I can move this guy here. And I think Blazing Lance, Blazing Lance does two. Uh, let me see. Nope. Three, four. Yeah, there's four. Nice. Severe damage. I love that. Excellent. Taking a hit. Nobody's dead though. Nobody's dying. Um, who's next on the list? Ooh, the dog is next. Eesh. Okay, so we should take out the dog. Can I step back without taking a hit? Looks like it. Okay. Now if I attack you, and that first shot kills, the second shot will fire. Oh, it's too far away. The second, so it's a multi-shot. The first shot kills, the second one will uh, will attack the next nearest enemy's enemy. So we can go over here and finish this. Oh, hey, this is this is a good run. <laughs> Um, let me see, safeguard, you know what, this might be a good opportunity to do some heals, because healing outside of combat, you can't deal with spells, so let me go ahead and move here, pop this time with a heal, there you go, 161 HP, excellent, and then for you, we could, can I, I wonder if I can keep them stabilized or away for a minute, no, they have another turn coming up, so we might as well go ahead and get close. Give a slap. There it is. Look at that. Hey, victory. We've got some loot. Gonna collect the demon's blood. Ooh, and another health potion. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that was a nice, smooth, smooth, smooth kill. I like it. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. We're taking a risk. Let's go ahead and right click here. Do some searching. Okay, so there's combat over there. Okay, let me see. There's a whole other area over here. How many say each step is one? Doop, 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 doop. So that costs us a little bit. Here's our next debuff, and it says. Uh, you notice that the traps here seem more sophisticated than most. Traps deal double damage. All right, so let's be careful of traps. Traps typically in-game stuff, in-game traps. Uh, I see Helena holds up her hands and freezes. Eyes raised, crumbling ceiling, which looks ready to give away. Uh, I give away at any moment. They glance back in your direction. Move quickly. Walk slowly, avoiding sudden sudden movements. Move quickly. Nice. Party dashes, run out clear of harm's way. Uh, crashes, ceases, glance around. It seems that everybody, we all made it. Nice. Nice. Oh, no way. It's going in a circle. Oh, man. What a waste of actual time. Oh, man. Oh, this is brutal, too. We're ambushed. This is ambush. Uh, oh, no, it's not. Never mind. I, I, thought, I thought we were surrounded, but there's nobody over here. Uh, these guys are already lined up so nicely. How can I get, can I get over there? You. Can you get over there as quickly as possible? You can snipe. Mm, kind of from here. Yeah, let me see. Let's get our, get our folks moving in as quickly as possible. Can they get over here, I wonder? It looks like they can. Right? Yeah, look, there's a gap right here. Let's put you here instead. Alright, let's start. I see there's a chest here, but I don't think any chests are actually interactable, so let's not get too excited. We have two enemies that are lined up right here. If we could hit, uh, I don't know, just look like it. These are 50% damage because they're under half cover. So let me see. Let's go back over here. Maybe we can... You move more damage to one of these guys and still maintain our distance? Sure can. Okay. Now these special abilities, see they have markers on the top. Those are uses. And when you run out of uses, you have to like heal, or so you have to camp. Uh, or I think rest at the inn, I believe. So uh, this is, uh, this is, I believe, akin to how it worked in Darkest Dungeon as well. You can't just spam abilities as long as you have them generating mana. You actually have to, uh, um, yeah, you have to go back and rest and whatnot. Uh, I can't leave this space, so let's just go and slap. And uh, I guess we'll just, we'll just have everybody slap. Oh, never mind. These guys are way down here. Oh, oh, that's pain. That's a little bit of pain. Still feared? No, you're good. Okay. Still feared? Okay. Oh, that was the turn. The turn was spent feared. Eesh. Next turn's coming up way over here. Okay. Let's move in. Oh, we'll just uh, snipe. Two. Can't attack you. Gotta, gotta take care of this thing. I'm just gonna use these hits. These shots here. Now, wait. What was your, what was that debuff there? I thought I saw a debuff. No, it was just, uh, just taking a hit, I guess. There you go. Alright, dog's done. This guy's gonna move over here. Brutal. Okay, let me see. 
I can stand and heal. I can, can't move out of the way. Uh, one of these is actually, you see, Channel 4 turns apply damage shield on herself and her target last two rounds. Let's do it. Because he can do an attack that can blaze through both of them. We've already seen it once. Oh, can you not move? Yeah, you can. Okay. No, man! Ho oh, ho! Damn! This is going way easier than I was playing. When I was playing before, I was getting my butt kicked, dude. <laughs> All right, let's move through here. We'll snipe, snipe, snipe. We're not gonna waste our uh, special on that. We'll just snipe a couple times. Uh, she's not charmed. She's only. Let me run over there. She's only sleeping. Right? I believe. Round four goes to the mob. Mob's going to attack. Okay, and then I'm going to attack right back. One. You're still asleep. And then my friend can get over here, but not quite reach. Can't stand here because I can't. I can't. Mm, can't cast from there. Let's just move it. Move it all the way in. You can go. Oh man. Let's do this. Um, I was gonna put a trap here, but it's not gonna move, right? Nah, it's not gonna move. Ah, sure, let's put a trap anyways. So you can see what it looks like. Round five, you gonna move? Oh, oh subjugate. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Never mind. We good? Collect, collect, collect. Yeah, this is going swimmingly. So now we might as well complete the damn circle. Oh man. Oh god, that is so brutal. So many days. Now, this is where you probably would set up camp. Actually, oh fuck, yeah, okay. What's it gonna say? Uh much needed break. We take a moment to gather our bearings. Oh, gain a slight break from March uh, from the March of Time. Oh hey. Or what that means, a slight break. Hmm. Like how long would that last? That's cool, nice little buff. Let's see, uh, these guys are nice and lined up, so let's go and line my dudes up as well. Get there as quickly as possible. Range guy go here, oh, you go here. Oh no, you, you, dang, you here, you here. Good, good, good. Let's start combat. Okay, you can get, we can move over here and he's gonna have some kind of cover here. Yeah, perfect. And then you can, let's see, so we just bring an arc. From there you don't. Yeah, not gonna be able to do too much. We're gonna hide her behind this wall. Yep, and you're gonna just guard. There you go. Take take less damage, which comes in handy already. Oh, good. Gather around. Yeah, yeah. She's got a great great arc attack, and uh, I think it's hot and all. Wow. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. They're going for the kill. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Um, let me see. Uh, I heal a single target. How, how are you doing in health? It's shitty. Um, so let's go ahead and just go ahead and heal that target. There we go. Yeah. And then you. God, what can you even do from here? From here, boom, boom, big swings. Right? I should we do that with our with the ability that we've been using a lot. But this will. I mean, this will wipe them out, right? Oh, dang! So close. No burning effect. Nope. No burning effect. Okay, so for you, I uh, see she's gonna swing down. Damage across both of those, uh, and then this is a perfect opportunity again to use the. Let's move over here, and we'll use this ability because it's a one shot here, and then the next shot will move to the next target. What the fuck? Oh, maybe it's the next nearest target. Oh, that thing's dead. Oh, it healed. It healed. Uh, uh, it sacrificed itself to heal. Nice, clever. Let me see, how you doing on health? Still shit. So let's go and heal again. And then we'll get our boy over here to, uh, to just slap. And then you can also just slap. Hey, these, these, uh, these, this is going pretty fast. You know, it's pro it was probably going, taking a lot longer when I was playing with tablet because, I mean, it's just inherent to playing with the tablet, right? Choose a new ability to unlock. So check this out. I can unlock another ability for two rounds. All attacks will inflict bleed on our targets. Uh, mark a single target for two rounds. Increase the critical damage by 25% in all range by, okay, and folly. Aim in any, in, in any direction and channel for five turns. Damage all enemies along the designated trajectory. Mm hmm. Let me see. Um. 
channel is there, performing basic attack and the moves of the soldier position and so okay. Uh let's see. Let's go here, here, here. We're gonna choose we'll choose this one. We're not gonna get too deep into this actually, so it's fine, we'll just choose. Close. Don't worry about it. Let me see. Oh wait, those points to spend? No, I thought I committed to those already. Let me see. Let's go back. Void breach. No, 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 no. Oh, where's that damn thing? Stats, gear, reports, gear, abilities. Why not spend here? Can I change it during missions available points one? Oh, like, oh, I didn't actually spend the point. Okay. I see. Uh, let's spend it on one of the current ones. We know this one's great. We could put it. Oh, I already got the two charges on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we don't have any more charges of that left, so let's go to something else. Here we go. Restraining order. Uh, escape plan. Ignore opportunities for what? For one round? That's pretty nice. Increase range. Let's do that. There we go. Now we've spent it. Does anybody else need some? Well rested. Available fatigue for 18 days. Minus 25% XP. 10% damage. Minus 10 morale. See? See how this stuff can add up? Making these runs very, very taxing <laughs> morale wise. Ooh, ran into another attack. Okay. Let me see. Oh, they get the, the first go here. Uh huh. Oh, I'm surrounded. Okay, here we go. This is an ambush for sure. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so so here's what sucks. Uh, yeah, enemies got very surprised. Yes. Um, all right. This could have been avoided if I would have actually planned ahead, but look now I have uh, ambush turned delayed. I have a uh, flanked um, I can't move out of this space because I'm gonna take opportunity damage. So I have to I have to try to make this work. I think uh, How oh, You are flanked flanked dude. Uh, you can move over here at least no because you leave that space. Ooh, man There is no escaping Okay, so let's uh, let's just beat up on things and hope we survive <laughs> This is a bad start <laughs> Let's see, no shields, no shields, we go right right to pain. No shields, only pain. We're gonna we're gonna fight our way out of this, damn it. What is this? Let's see it. Adjacent enemies, the sweeping spear, nope, it's not gonna come in handy. Although we can move her over here and take advantage of the no miss swings. And there we go. And then for you also, Blazing Lance, we'll finish this thing off. There we go. Maybe overkill, but at least that frees up somebody to move. Unless they, they she moves into the spot there. All right, well, we got out of that space like we wanted. <laughs> um, I guess we'll keep on beating up on it. Damn, this thing has a lot of health. So the problem with this thing is once you kill it, it goes into like an exploding phase. It does like 5,000 damage after it explodes, after like one or two turns, following its uh, its death. Ah, oh, shit, let's just keep on beating this up. She's still in, she's still in, yeah, damn, she's still in the, in range here. Of, uh, of, of opportunity range. Another lance. We're gonna try to finish thing off this thing off. We can. It's burning now. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh wow. what the what are you gonna put all my dudes to sleep? That's afraid, because I'm winning. Keep on attacking. We gotta take advantage of that flanking. We need it. Oh, I forgot. Yes, there's interact you can interact with the uh, the, the environment like that. Yeah, I didn't mention that, but I'm glad that I'm glad that, that came up. <laughs> All right, one last, one last flaming spear. Slap. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, are you, okay, you're back, you're back. Good, good, good. Let me see, so hone for two rounds, all attacks will inflict bleed on the targets. Um, I think that's, that's gonna be a necessary thing. Uh, can I move past you without, is she asleep or something? Is she casting? She's not, she doesn't seem to really, really be paying attention to this over here. So I think I can probably squeeze by. Yes, okay, good. And then target against enemy and tumble backwards away from the position shoot retreating target for one round. Oh, I can't do that over there. Okay, so we'll activate that. Oh, and then we have to wait till the next turn. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, right? Ooh man. You can wake up. Okay, good, she's up. No, no, he's not up. Okay, this is gonna be dangerous. We slap. And now he's gonna go into Oh good! Good, it just burned it right through it. Oh, excellent. That sapper, sapper stage. Uh, oh, 
now she's uh, seduced. Oh man, it's a rough one. Miss, of course, no bleed. Miss, of course. Come on. Go, good, nice block or something. You're gonna stand in the fire and you're gonna swing at me. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna walk over here. And what I'll do is I'll set up a trap here. See if she falls for it. <laughs> On my own. <laughs> oh man, man. She is dangerous. Miss again. Okay, apparently I'm willing to bet that there's some kind of ability here or something this thing has where you cannot melee it or something. Are you serious right now? Oh my god, was that person's down? Um just gonna keep working on this. What is this thing called? Uh does it tell me to see? Temptress. A temptress, of course it is. Of course it is. She looks she looks like a she looks like um like a hula girl or something like that from uh, uh from Hawaii. Just kinda has that the delay and all that. Let me see. Or the the headdress and everything. Okay, can I get over there and, and take care of that? I could lift this person up, but I feel like I gotta kill this person though. Oh, I can't kill. Okay, let's lift. One, one HP. Good. Finish it off. Does that shake you? You're good? You're good. Okay. Get over here and snipe. Excellent. Wow. Man. Cool death animation. Collect. Collect, collect, collect. Oh, oh, oh. We have uh, things to spend to upgrade points. Hold on a second. Um. Oh, for Eleanor. Hmm. Sweeping spear. Can we do something more with this? Increase damage. Gain one additional charge. Mark. Targets marked. Uh, all targets slowed for one one round. Let's go back to the other one. Increase defense duration. This is the taunt. Hmm. Nah, let's go over here. We'll do another charge of this. No potency. More stronger. And then another charge. There. We have a bunch of charges on this because we can put points on the top side too. Oh, there was there was uh, points to spend there. Uh, I, yeah, there's attribute points to spend there. My characters are basically dead. <laughs> All right, some of them are. Uh, let's do let's do a camp actually. Let me see. Uh, risk seventy percent risk. Damn. Let's look ahead. Oh, what is this? What's the where's the legend at? Uh, legend. A hazard. Okay. Yeah, I know we have none of those. Your chance of incurring an injury is slightly increased. Okay, increased significantly. My characters are all Ted. Like, this, this is gonna be rough. Okay. Can I camp here? 20% risk. Perfect. I've already scouted everything. So, this is camping. This is gonna be the last major thing I'm gonna show you guys. But essentially, you got two people that are resting and two people that are on guard, or one person that's on guard. Um, oh wait, can I not move this person over? Oh, I guess, yeah, it's two and two. Let's see, primary effects. Let me see. I don't know, I modify insets. All right, here we go. Uh, see, restore vitality, recover HP 25%, secondary effects HP 10%, mend wounds, uh, injury stabilizes, do health, mend wounds, and then, uh, recover four ability charges at random. Let's do that. Yeah, so there you go. So that's what we'll get. So, a bunch of HP recover. Um, you see all injuries stabilize. Can I swap some of you guys? I know I can. How do I do that? Zero. Oh, zero out of two on lookout. Oh, nobody's on lookout, actually. Oh, good. Good. 20% chance. I'm sure we'll be okay. <laughs> no one on lookout. Uh, see, I, I, wait, do I have to wait? Oh, I had this problem before, actually. I wasn't sure how long I was supposed to stay in the screen. Because it just, it just sat here. Uh, and I was like, okay, cool, end camp, we'll just, uh, wait. And I feel like I waited for a long time and nothing happened. So, this part I'm not certain about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit here and just tell you a little bit about the game. <laughs> just a little bit about the title here. Um, I'm gonna pull out, pull out my, uh, my Steam page. Uh, cause I forgot the price. $19.99, that's what you're gonna get out of this. Uh, or that's what it's gonna get out of you. There is a lot of game here. There's a lot of game here. Uh, it may seem shallow to some. It may seem just perfectly, it's just perfect for like a kind of a game loop uh, mixed between a, uh, you know, proper a tactical RPG versus a, you know, procedurally generated title. 
uh it does it does have a lot of elements that you, you that we've seen in like darkest dungeon and such um and other games but uh i mean it's you know i like the pixel art i like the story like i like the way they deliver the story um overall it's been pretty good so now i'm now i'm waiting now I, I don't, uh, so if i end the camp like what happens what happens if I end the camp let me see. Did they heal? Oh yeah, some of them healed up for sure. Okay, cool, cool. So we don't have to stay there too long. Well, let's keep going, marching to our death. Here we go. Uh, a mysterious light flickers. Yep. Let's see, have you ever seen such a thing? It's almost beautiful in a way. Terrifying. Helen shakes her hand. Their head is if a snap from trance. Okay, let's keep going. Demons fight. I think this is the boss battle here. This is the ultimate. This is what we had to finish in order to finish this. Um, uh, this uh, this run, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping we get lucky here. Let me see the injuries be rough. What happens here? Sustain 10% damage when blocking. Okay, that's not too bad. These guys are all in a row here. Let's bring this guy over. Do you have any charges left? Can I see his charges before I commit him? Maybe clicking on the name. Gear abilities. Does not tell me your charges are left. Uh, oh, wait, there it is, right there, right? Remaining charges, excellent. Three, two, and three. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, you will go there. And then... My boy, can snipe. Come back here. Too tight, I think that's too tight. We gotta get, we gotta flank, we gotta get around. Let's do it, let's do it. Last fight. So you, um, let's see, hone. We start bleeding, folks. Who's that next turn? Oh, okay. We're about to get seduced. Or not. Good. Okay, so we work our way around here. And we just are beating this up. Like, right away. What do we got? Uh, let's see. Some art. Can't go down. Okay, so we'll just... We'll just miss. Whale. Nice, line it up, line it up, line it up! Let me see, just throw a heal on somebody. Who, you? Is that you, or who's that? That's, yeah, you, okay. All right. Beautiful, yes! Okay, now what do I do with you? Probably the arc, right? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. I should have moved to the other side, though. That was a mistake. A little bit of a mistake. Oily blades. Look at this bad defense mechanism here. Spell. All right, that person's no longer on our side. Um, let's scoot you a little bit closer, and then we're gonna do yeah, blade one two. Really close. Really, really close. We want to kill that before it uh, sacrifices itself to heal somebody else, which is, I think the next move it's gonna do. So I have to fight these things? For reals? I guess so. I got, you know what though? Uh, it left me open uh, to do this again. Oh. That was it. That was a slap. Hmm. God, so close, man. So close. So close. Yes. Perfect. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, I meant to do the double shot, which would have actually, oh god, I would have killed this thing. Oh god, now you're dead. Now you're dead because I made a mistake. Are you alive yet? No, damn it. Okay, you really need this guy to come back. Let's go all the way around here. Let's hit him with this. Okay. Oh, so these things do, oh, these things attack. When, they, when this guy's attack or something, it all like links together somehow. <gasps> oh man. Alright, let's finish this guy. Fucking fuck. Unbelievable. I had to make it out of this, man. We didn't come all this way to not make this. Uh, gosh, I go for this. Should I go over here and finish this guy off? Or finish you off? Or like take it, or probably not finish off, actually. We move over here. Can I heal this person to bring them back? Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Blade. God damn. It's so, this thing's so strong. Okay, so those didn't do attack, so I don't know exactly what the what the deal was there. Oh great. 
unbelievable. Okay, yeah, that's what we could do. We could do... Finally, one... Sick. Sick. Hell yeah. God, wow, man, those temptresses are just the worst. <laughs> And now, now it's still 2v3? <laughs> oh, sorry, 3v2, I guess. Yeah, so let's go over here. See if we can't finish the job. Is this it? Yes! Hey, we did pretty good that time. You are gonna spend some more skills, abilities, all that stuff. We're gonna skip that part. We skip that part. We go right to the, uh... Let me see. Close the menu. We're gonna go... We'll, we'll do that. I'll do that in town later. But at least now we've got... That was a perfect loop here. Perfectly. We closed the breach. We've done it. We should report back immediately. We can stay and look around if we want to, but you know, characters are not doing too good. This is our, yeah, provision refunds, um, or refunds. But sorry, loots, everything. All basically, your your closing screen, all of your successes summarized in one nice little window. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make our way back over here. Confirm. We may encounter something on the way there. Look at that. Peering up in the darkened sky, you spot a flock of birds flying with haste across your view. Their black wings barely visible against the black drop. Hmm, hard to believe it's morning. Okay, okay, this thunder. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn. Dang. <gasps> Is that town roasted? That was an actual town that you could go to. Oh no. Okay. Ooh. World events, a dragon has attacked Graveswood. We should press forward to Andalin and consider ourselves lucky. Chose not to attack here. Let's keep going. That was cool. I like that. Alright, so we go into the city. We could turn on our missions. Boom. It says, yeah, you did it. The whole story here. Breach the clothes. Yep, everyone said we couldn't find them. We have some other stuff here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, this is, I'm skipping all this right now, but I'm telling you. Like, I was reading the shit out of all this stuff. <laughs> Before. Uh, some wine. Hey, lots of wine. Bottles of cheap wine. Oh, we got lots of them, though. So quantity over. We're going to spend a point there. It's 50% increased travel time. Uh, or decreased travel time. Uh, I want to go to the next one. Let me see. Yeah, apply those upgrades. Next satchel size. More provisions would be great. Do I have any more points to spend? Oh, I guess I only have the one. Um, and then, yeah, then you start you start the process over. Or, again, you could leave. Yeah, I could go and uh, um, collect some more. Let me see. Link up with the Vanguard just outside Andalon. Uh, so go here. Get more missions. Or continue on my journey. This is the fell seal approach, right? Or, or even darkest darkest dungeon. Uh, where you have, like, town to town you can move to. Different uh, like, um, biomes and all that stuff you're going to be experiencing. You can see this desert over here. There's snow over here. Uh, yeah, there's probably some water or something somewhere, I'm sure. But... Overall, I mean, it's for, for early access game, while they do have a couple things that are still, like, you know, coming, like the the, the uh, talent trees, <laughs> skill trees, like missing a couple of um, of uh, uh, of uh, um, unlocks. For the most part, man, this, the game is here. Like, the, the game is uh, is playable. For sure. And at $19.99, I feel like it's properly priced for a game like this. So, if you like lots of words, and you like turn-based tactics stuff, this game might work for you. It might work for you. Got a very, it's got a name that, that's very easy to forget. The Iron Oath. For some reason, I just cannot, I cannot remember this damn name. <laughs> it's such a generic name. The Iron Oath. There's so many games like Rogue something. <laughs> so, uh, so remember that, all right? T O T I O T O. The Iron Oath. Check it out on Steam, 1999. My name is Mike B A K Phony. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys later. Goodbye.